Now next topic is negative sequence component. If you have not seen a positive sequence component, please see in the previous video or you can see in the playlist name uh, symmetrical component, sorry symmetrical fault. So coming towards the negative sequence component. So what is negative sequence component? We have seen in positive sequence component the phasor means the phasor that we have drawn is 120 degree apart displacement is 120 degree this is a b c for the positive sequence component and equal in magnitude but in case of negative sequence component there is a same magnitude and phase displacement is also 120 degree but have phase opposite means in positive we have seen a b c but in negative sequence component this will be a and this will be c and this will be b Okay, so what is negative sequence component? It consists of three phasor in equal magnitude. The magnitude of these three phasor will be same and uh, will be equal in magnitude. And uh, the phase displacement is 120 degree, but having phase opposite means we'll see e A, C, B to the original phasor. Means in original phasor, if we have A, B, C, so in negative will be A, C, B. Okay and it is denoted by suffix 2 means where you see VA2, VB2 and uh, VC2 so this means this will be a negative sequence component for positive we have written VA1, VB1, VC1 so in negative sequence component we will write by suffix 2 VA2, VB2 and VC2 now you can see the phasor displacement and phase reference VA2, VC2 and VB2 they are equal in magnitude this will for balance condition VA2 equal to VB2 equal to VC2 so this will be equal to VA2 plus VB2 plus VC2 equal to 0 this is for the balance condition ok their phase displacement is 120 degree and for balance condition it will be VA2 plus VB2 plus VC2 which is equal to 0 Now as we seen in po positive sequence component the clockwise direction and anticlockwise direction same for negative sequence we will see the clockwise direction so in this this is the VA2, VC2 and VB2 ok now we will write uh, we will take reference VA2 which is equal to angle 0 VA2 is equal to VA2 angle 0 now what will be the VB2 clockwise direction is like that ok this is the clockwise direction now what will be the VB2 so the writing in terms of VA2 this will be equal to minus 240 ok here you can see VA2 to VC2 is 120 degree and VC2 to VB2 is 120 degree so in terms of VA2 VB2 is equal to VA2 angle minus 240 ok now for VC2 the phase angle is 120 degrees so in terms of VA2 we will write VA2 angle minus 120 degree now for anti-clockwise direction means this is VA2 uh, VC2 and VB2 anti-clockwise will be like this ok now taking reference VA2 VA2 is equal to VA2 angle 0 ok and VB2 is equal to the displacement is 120 degrees so in terms of VA2 we will write VB2 is equal to VA2 angle plus 120 degree ok and we know that in phase operator as seen in phase positive sequence component the value of A is 1 angle 120 degree so we will write here A VA2 for VC2 we will write VA2 angle plus 240 which is equal to A square A square is 1 angle 240 so this will equal to A square VA2 ok so we have seen a clockwise and anti-clockwise phasor relation ok and last one is zero sequence component ok we have seen positive negative and last one is zero sequence component ok so in zero sequence component three phasor A, B, C is in equal magnitude and the phase displacement will phase displacement from 
each other will be zero okay means what we have seen for positive the phase displacement is 120 degree okay but in case of zero sequence the phase displacement will be zero okay there is no phase displacement phase displacement will be zero okay and it is denoted by suffix zero this is va0 if you see va0 vb0 and vc0 so this will be a zero sequence component okay now for balance case uh, remember that for zero sequence component va0 plus vb0 plus vc0 equal to 3 va0 okay this is a point to be remembered that va0 plus vb0 plus vc0 is equal to 3 va0 so this is a zero sequence component